So let me transition into um, this, this idea of the remote worker fitness model that we have. Uh, so we, the first iteration of this model actually took place in, nine, in 2011 um, when uh, so we did, we did uh, work on um, telecommuter fitness and telecommuter work um, beginning in 2008 and nine, but the iteration of this model began then. And so I want to kind of talk about, so you see the visual, just from a visual perspective on the left-hand side, you sort of see how we're talking about things in terms of remote workers that need to be in balance. Um, and then what are the skills for that? So here again, the model demonstrates that it's about um, this, this kind of keeping in balance and keeping aware of um, the fundamental elements. So the product, the process, and the people. And that when um, when remote workers are able to kind of manage these aspects, um, that the, the organization gains high employee commitment and ensures performance. So I think that we're seeing a lot of companies sort of saying, okay, just kind of make it work. You're just working from another space and not enough attention paid to the ways in which uh, folks are trying to figure out the sense of isolation looking at the technology, missing those informal pieces. Um, and so the degree to which you can um, make sure you're taking advantage of that is really important. 